Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever yes. time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be doing the Silver Shroud quest line. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's put on our explosive pistol here, and then we'll listen to the radio. Galaxy News Radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans, a once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. Let's go find Wayne. Your lady friend there. She's the Dane Warite's public occurrences, right? Good son. I always think you were sure. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me, you're dead. Nice. We got a level, and <laughs> apparently I accidentally now. blew this already dead person's head off. Oops. Let's leave our calling card. Um, I think I want to put a level in real quick. Let's put it into Perception. I think this will be the last one we put into perception for a little bit, and we'll actually start working on riflemen. A little auto save, probably because I just leveled. Uh, I guess we should have turned on the silver shroud radio. Galaxy News Radio. Friend of the show, Jerry is here. Is this thing on? Hello. Hello? It's on. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man. Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Holy right. moly, the So, AJ, the you know flesh. the chem dealer by Bobby's. Oh, no. He's doing good for himself. Me. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No, he's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids, and his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Radio. Let's go ahead and find AJ now. And by the way, I am going to do this with the Silver Shroud dialogue as much as possible. Keep your hands where I can <coughs> see them. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? 
today you face the Silver Shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Board up the windows because we're putting you out of business. Screw you. Waste the freak. <laughs> This is normal for other journalists. I doubt it, Piper. <laughs> Don't forget to leave the calling card. We'll loot these guys really fast. Let's go ahead and listen to the Silver Shroud radio again. Shrouds bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. Let's go inside the third rail. Enjoy your stay. What? Another one of you mercs looking Charlie. for Charlie. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? I'm looking for someone. Kendra. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house? You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a murderer. A very skilled murderer. Listen mate, the combat scan shows you know what you're about. Save your caps by a logger instead. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. I love the third rail, and mostly because of the music in here. Let's get out of here. And then we're going to go find Kendra. She's not hard to find. She's actually really close by. <laughs> Random person dying as soon as we get out. On the waist, otherwise. Interesting. We're going to make a left here. Kind of the uh, way, actually not kind of, the way that we came into Good Neighbor the last episode. And then we'll make a left here too. Let's crouch real quick. Seal ourselves. 
we have a few Lulus. Yeah, yeah, be patient. Shit. Lost. No need to hide. Yeah, I, was I was wondering if I could pickpot pickpocket him and uh, put a grenade in his pocket, but I guess not. Be careful for those of you that don't have your sneak very high. There are some landmines leading to where Kendra's at. Let's talk to Kendra now. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> Wayne, <coughs> guess we showed them. Uh, this is a contract you can pick up. I'm not going to. Um, just because. It's pointless. It's not really that big of a deal. It's not pointless. Don't let me say that. Um, you can get some money for it, but Piper's not going to like it. So I'm not going to bother with it. That's essentially what I'm saying. I'm not going to bother with it. <laughs> but if you want to take on that contract, feel free. Let's head back to Good Neighbor. Now, just a heads up to everybody. I am going to fast travel a little bit. Um, just because some things are a little far away. Um, and I don't want to walk too far when we're just going to have to go right back to Good Neighbor. So I'll try to save some time with a little bit of fast traveling, but I'll try to keep that to a minimum as much as I can. Let's go inside Good Neighbor real quick. We're going to come over here and we're going to listen to the radio again. The Silver Shroud Radio. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Oh, I look like a bartender. Whatever it's Take about, be careful, down. Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy! Radio. Let's go inside the old state house. If you're sticking around, you'll need to join the crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking. Always a catch with the No Nose, but she pays. I don't know who, where he was talking from, but. <laughs> okay, let's talk to um, Hancock now. Guess what someone tells me. Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the mic den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. 
And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you. I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two Bit Raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holing up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Let's get out of here. Some of these conversations are hilarious, by the way. Uh, there's where the guy was talking. He was behind the door. I think Whitechapel Charlie's got some work, if you're looking. He's down in the third rail. Let's go outside, good neighbor. We're gonna have a few dogs in front of us. Well, mongrels, dogs, whatever. Same thing, am I right? I was gonna say. Up down here. Go. What? They're in our hands anyway. I oh man, that's the second time some shit like that's happened to me. That's some bullshit right there. We're gonna sneak right past these guys because mm, I'm not really feeling like fighting these guys. Plus, we have the Silver Shroud costume. I believe it makes us sneakier. Piper's fighting him. We're hidden again. We can stand back up. Bunker Hill is over here. Pretty cool spot. I like Bunker Hill. I don't know why I put my weapon away. We're not going to go up to Bunker Hill. We're actually going to take a left right here. And we're going to crouch here in a second. So glad you could all come out and play. And boy... Do we just have the best little chew toy to sink our teeth into? The legendary Silver Shroud. Sure, the Shroud's already killed some of our best, but so what? That just makes the bounty even juicier. Pack your gear, because we're going to go a murdering soon. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Uh, we're going to put our calling card on her again. Smiling Kate. Ooh, combat armor. Let's continue on. We're going to take a right over here. There's a Meyer Lurk over there. I think there's actually two Meyer Lurks. Yes, this is it yep. You. One's a Hunter. Here's trouble. Really held your own. There we go. 
continue on down here till we get to this broken down car let's take out the spotlight and we'll take out the turret as well who's there should be all right to walk freely as long as your sneak is fairly high you should be all right Make sure you put some rad X on there. Oh, I seen a deer. Ooh, lag. Let's go ahead and take care of his goons. Thugs, goons, whatever. <laughs> This poor guy doesn't want anything to do with us. Oh, good job, Piper. Taking care of the uh, enemies for me. Should be one more back here. Yep. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to Good Neighbor. We'll come over here to listen to the Silver Shroud radio again. Or actually, no, we don't listen to the radio again we go through the uh to the memory den so let's do that now oh it's you oh sugar i told kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed oh god oh god calm yourself the Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. Got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Let's do that now. On your knees, dirtbag. What are you doing? Whoa, ah, ah. Sinjin, all clear. This is the Shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Business that needs finishing. <laughs> I love how this is actually like a, a comic book. Let's go outside the memory den and then we're going to fast travel to the DB Technical High School. We want to turn around and go through the gate. Now to give everybody a heads up, we are going to be going by a super mutant encampment. So be careful. There may be a suicider. Um, plus it's super mutants. They're pretty tough depending on your level and if you're wearing the silver shroud uh, costume or not. The silver shroud costume really is not that strong. Somewhere. So just keep that in mind. 
Ooh, he's a legendary. I better get a legendary piece of armor or weapon from you. Got him. Nice. That's actually a pretty decent piece of combat armor. They're probably going to see me. I'm walking right by them. But you never know. You never know. What was that? Really, Piper? What was that? Look to your right. This should have a Mr. Gutsy or something. Also, some power armor over here. Some X01. Nice. If you're into power armor, X01 is pretty good. Just saying. Oh, that barely hurt the Mr. Gutsy. No. Excuse me, sir. Quit dodging my bullets. We will be coming this way later into the walkthrough. I'm just not going to right now. Like, well, <laughs> obviously we're going through it. But I mean, like, actually go through this section and grab stuff. For now, we're just going into this hospital. Let's go inside. Mm, I find the quality of care at this facility to be lacking, at best. <laughs> Piper, that was actually really silly. Ain't scared yet. Nah, they never just want to talk. <laughs> 45s. Shit's got ambush all over it. Come on, Piper. Probably gonna get in my way, as always. Going down. Basement. <laughs> Somebody fucking blew themselves up. You can lockpick that door if you want. Just some loot. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Should be coming down. Yep. Mr. Handy. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a come nurse handy. I I'll just notice nice that. Quick. I've been through this a couple of times and I just noticed it said nurse handy. Interesting. Nah, I don't want any sturdy stuff. Oh, I do want sturdy stuff. I just don't want sturdy leather. I see you. I probably won't go with the heavy combat armor, but I'll stay with the sturdy um, combat armor. It's a good, uh, middle ground. Come on, Piper. Get in the elevator. Oh my god. Come on. And then she stands right in the way. Piper. Don't, don't even troll me like this, Piper. Are you serious right now? Move. Move, lady. Oh my god. Hey. Where to? Over here. That's a plan. Going Good Lodi, Ms. Wody. That shit was fucking ridiculous. Second floor. <laughs> Let's crouch again. You, hear that? you killed him! Ah! There's one more over here. Well, there's many more, but... 
in this part at least there was one more You sure you saw something? Oh, they were sure. <laughs> no, I didn't see any sturdy. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man that person on the ground was getting mutilated by my uh explosive pistol here all right piper let's not get in my way actually no. let's do this Just let here you know. go in get in there That is way more efficient. Bro, I want to talk with you. I'm gonna say it again. Hold assholes. How do you find Anyone turns heel, here? I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Ken's head. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are craven, Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. Don't talk to me like that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know you're human. And you're weak. You came here and for what? You little sidekick? I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, man. He's a phony. So what's going to happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're going to shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's going to be left but paste. Then I'm going to good neighbor and kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. You know what would really get to Kent? Killing his friend, his hero, right in front of him. Didn't know he had it in him. <laughs> Enjoy the show, Kent. After I'm done with the shroud, you're next. Let's go into our pit boy heal really fast. Cause they are fucking me up. You try to muscle in on me? This is what you You got a line on him? <laughs> Oh, there's still another dude? Or lady. My bad. Sweet. We got Piper to max affinity. Let's just uh, talk to Kent real fast, and then we'll loot everybody and get the hell up out of here. Kent. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. I'm glad I got here in time. You and me both, Shroud. But I don't know. I just give up on all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You, you're right. But I'm tired. I just want to go home. I'm going back to good neighbor. Really. Thanks for saving me, but I'm just done. Poor Kent. Let's go inside the elevator. We can leave Piper behind now. Going up. I ain't trying to do all that nonsense. And then we're going to fast travel back to Good Neighbor as well. There's no way I'm going to run all the way back to Good Neighbor. Um, which way am I going? Oh, through these big doors. I was like, which way am I going? 
Let's crouch and go outside. Now let's open up our pit boy after I heal myself that is. Let's open up our pit boy. We'll go over to our map and then we'll go up to good neighbor and I'll see everybody there. No, I don't have a minute. We'll talk to Piper after this quest is done. I was out by the Cambridge ruins yesterday. Heard this weird distress call. Somebody's in a pickle. If you say so, bud. I just need time to recover, you know? Something up? The deed is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with a man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? This... this means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. So at level, I think, 25, 35, and 45, Kent will level up the armor on the Silver Shroud costume. So if you like the Silver Shroud costume, go back to him at level 25, 35, and 45, and he'll level it up. Let's go outside to Good Neighbor. Um, we're going to talk to Piper. That's right. Piper, quit running off, lady. You are the worst companion ever. I'm just kidding. I love you. Hey. Point the way. Piper. So, you found a minute for me yet? Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, People may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Huh. A lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Bloom. 
I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just, Blue, I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I, I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on, let's not keep the world waiting. So we got the Gift of Gab perk. Pretty good perk. Um, especially if you're a smooth talker. You get extra experience uh, for completing uh, speech checks. So let's go ahead and end this video now. You're lucky the mayor likes We'll come over here. All right, everybody, I want to tell you all thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.